everybody. Obviously, there are many use cases for Ford Extender, but uh, for the purposes of this demo, we're going to stick to uh, the SD-WAN uh, use case. All right, so what we have here is the Ford Manager. It's the single pane of glass uh, management console for uh, basically, you know, any mass uh, Fortinet deployments. And we have this uh, extender manager where all of your Ford extenders can be centrally managed from the same location. And as you can see here, we have multiple uh, Ford extenders. And um, in the following steps, we're going to demonstrate how you can provision these and what does it look like from a provisioning standpoint, right? So right off the bat, we could see that you could assign templates, you can pull up real-time cellular quality statistics uh, from each uh, Ford extender. Uh, so that is you know, at, at your fingertips. And when you uh, drill in, you could see that there are multiple uh, templates and profiles that you could attach to um, you know, any number of Ford extenders, uh, any mix of models. You have a SIM profile and in, mo in models that support dual SIM, you could configure that. You could have data plans. And if you have, let's say, uh, you know, any hard caps on your uh, cellular service, you could configure them here. Uh, there are Ford extender profiles where you could have alerts. You could tell the SIM, uh, if, you, if it's dual SIM, you could set the failover threshold and control behavior uh, that way, right? So what we're going to look at next are SD-WAN profiles. And, you know, once you have your Ford extender connected to your FortiGate, what does it look like in terms of configuration? And the truth is Ford extender gets treated like any other SD-WAN interface. You could um, create like a performance SLA health checks, which uh, measure latency, jitter, packet loss, and you can add like failover thresholds, and then you apply them to SD-WAN rules. So in our Office 365 rule that we see here, you can see that we have, in addition to WAM 1 and 2, we have Ford Extender configured here as like a last resort failover. Obviously, with SD-WAN, you could utilize the Ford Extender connection in multiple ways. Uh, but this is how you essentially configure uh, Ford Extender in, in an SD-WAN deployment. And then... You know, you have the corresponding uh, analytics and charts uh, and logs that go along with it, right? So if we bring up this global monitor, uh, it tells you exactly how your Ford extender is performing at this given time. If you want to drill down further, right, just go into that particular site and you can see at the top, it tells you the health of the Ford extender. It tells you all the different SD-WAN rules that you have uh, configured and you start getting into your you know sd wan latency jitter packet loss charts and we could see that you know our ford extender connection a few hours back had a uh, you know maybe two percent packet loss or things like that so you you get that insight uh, and if you want to um, have more analytics in ford manager you also have a, a secure sd wan monitor and you could see how much bandwidth each sd wan member and including Ford Extender is consuming, what the qualities look uh, is looking like, how your applications are egressing the network. Uh, you can see the rules utilization chart. I think that's very useful. And then you have all of your different health checks and uh, graphs that you can see how each interface is uh, performing. And you know, once you have all that, there, from a logging perspective, you know, obviously Ford Extender generates logs and you could see that you can configure it so that when there is like a, a Ford Extender related event, let's say, you know, you run out of data on your uh, SIM card, it will generate an alert and a, you know, subsequent log entry. Now, if you don't have a mass deployment, you don't use Ford Manager and you only have a handful of sites and you're going to, you know, manage each Ford gate separately, you could do that too. So what we see here is the management interface of the FortiGate. And this is what all the different uh, visibility uh, configuration that you have at your fingertips when it comes to a uh, Forti extender. So, um, you know, whether it's the status of the SIM card, uh, the, the modem, uh, you can perform advanced diagnostics. You could do firmware upgrades, uh, just like what you can do uh, in 
uh, Forda Manager. Uh, you can also do in uh, Forda OS. So the same profiles, data plans, uh, you could create that. And as you can see, when we pull up all of our you know, relevant interfaces, Ford Extender shows up just as any other interface on the FortiGate. And subsequently, you could add it to SD-WAN just like any other physical interface. So what we have here is Ford Extender being a member of our SD-WAN. You could assign like a cost to it uh, so that you could use for application steering purposes. You see that we have our performance SLA health checks. It will show you at this moment in time how Ford Extender is performing uh, relevant to your health check. And uh, at the top, you have your real-time latency jitter packet loss graphs, uh, very useful information to have on hand. Once you have all that configured, now you have your SD-WAN rules, right? So let's go back into our Office 365 rule. You see that there are, you know, if we look down further, there's uh, outgoing interfaces and different steering strategies. So, you know, whether it's using Ford Extender as like a last resort backup or as, a, a, you know, an always on uh, member that's ha handling a certain application, this is the type of flexibility that you get with uh, SD-WAN.